Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Patrick Bryant. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I made a video. Sorry about that. Been a little bit busy. And uh, last month, I got a little bit sick where I was basically just tired, but I lost my voice. I've been meaning to make this for about three or four weeks now. So anyway, um, just thank you to everybody recently who's uh, subscribed to the channel and um, all the likes. And I've been uh, receiving some questions, trying to get to those as soon as I can. And uh, I really do appreciate that. So anyway, uh, the topic of this video is to go over the process of coming up with a process for yourself something that works for you when uh, working with uh, Photoshop or with any other digital program that, um, of your choice so um, I know when I first started out using Photoshop um, it was uh, a little bit frustrating when I would uh, listen to videos or I'd read videos and I'd be on YouTube just like you guys watching everything and I would hear someone say something like um, you know I'm at this stage now so kinda do what you want or right here you can do whatever you prefer or whatever you're comfortable with and I would hear the author of the video say that and I would just be like man that I mean I'm not comfortable with anything because I don't know what the heck I'm doing so I would get a little bit frustrated in that it what I was looking for was basically someone to say do step one step two and step three there you have an awesome picture and instead what I was getting was which is actually true was the artist basically saying you know hey I did this as the artist but you're gonna do whatever you wanna do that's true but at the time it was just like I'm really not there yet and I don't know what I'm doing so the number one thing I wanna talk about is gaining that comfort and getting into Photoshop and getting comfortable with it so some of these steps I'm going over are some of the things that I did and some of the things that I now realize so number one is getting comfortable and part of that is doing something that you already know so transitioning from something like drawing in a sketchbook every day or drawing a paper, inking your drawing, stuff like that. I mean, that's what I did at my last job was, you know, I would draw everything. We would draw everything and ink it just like, you know, like a comic book artist or something like that. So if that's something that you're familiar with, you know, start out with Photoshop doing something like that. So take your sketch or take your really nicely lined drawing or ink drawing, scan it into Photoshop and make a layer beneath your line art and start coloring in that way and when you do start coloring in I mean just use a basic flat brush where you're just gonna be kind of just filling it in with flat color and what this is gonna do is get you used to the feel of Photoshop just putting your pen down to the tablet and just getting an idea of what it feels like and I've been teaching people recently uh, in Photoshop and getting them started which kinda gave me the inspiration to do this video is that you just want to get used to it it is something different it feels different you just want to get used to that pen hitting the tablet moving it around and just getting a sense of what it feels like so and if you're used to seeing your line art there's no reason to paint over it if you're not at that level yet that's okay just paint something underneath it just to get an idea of what it feels like the next step I want to go over is keeping it simple and what I mean by that is that when you're first starting out with Photoshop and if you're like me you know you've watched tons of videos you watch all these awesome artists who are like a hundred times better than me and you're they're making it just look easy and they're painting these awesome looking characters and everything and you go in and you try it and you fall flat on your face and I know that happened to me many a time so instead of trying to like you know you've drawn out this awesome looking barbarian character you've got two giant swords all this hulking armor and all this detail and instead of trying to paint that whole thing in Photoshop and taking on something that's too big how about just painting a portrait of that character just scan your image in you can enlarge the, the face and just do a portrait you know paint on one layer just use one brush and you could just simply just use the flat brush or whatever but starting with something small is going to give you a chance to have some form of success uh, you're giving yourself a little bit of a sense of accomplishment you can just paint just the face and then maybe in another day you paint just the weapon and you know at one point you might say okay I'm, I'm, maybe I'm a little bit tired of this character or I want to move on to something else but at least you've got something done at least you can say hey you know what I did something and at the end of the day you can say you know what I painted a portrait I did like a piece of his armor I did a piece of his weapon you can separate those things put them all on one on one document and you have got a nice looking piece of concept work that you can post to your website and just say hey you know these are some ideas that I had during this time you're still progressing towards 
getting up to the point where you're painting that the, the full character and the whole all of it in its entirety and you have all the detail and then eventually moving on to something even more ambitious where you have two characters fighting four characters fighting whatever but starting small keeping it simple give yourself a sense of accomplishment you want to walk away with a little bit of confidence and say hey you know what I did this alright let's just start right here and I know for me at first I wish I would have did that I eventually did to where I started just doing uh, some of my uh, my caricatures where you just have the face to work on and there's just not too much to think about there's not clothing and armor and metal and different textures to worry about it's just a face so that's just one example but starting small keeping it simple at least give your give yourself a sense of accomplishment as you progress towards more and bigger things the third step is researching and experimenting and if any of you guys are like me this was like step one for me I would watch tons of different videos on YouTube I'd read different tutorials and then I jump right into Photoshop thinking that I can do it and I found myself getting frustrated and confused because I'd watch 10 different artists use 10 different techniques in creating an image and I tried this guy's way I tried this girl's way and what I wasn't doing was coming up with a process for myself so I had already skipped by step one and step two of what we talked about here today and I was just jumping in and just trying to do what everyone else is doing because they were making it look so easy and they were making all their images look awesome so it's okay to do research it's okay to experiment but do it once you've got a little bit of com your own comfort level comfort level and you've got an idea of what you're doing so once you've done step one and step two and now you want to say okay now I want to try something new if you have a favorite artist or you have a couple of artists just try to take it slow take it with a little bit of grain of salt and just say okay I'll try what this person does but I'm gonna lower my expectations and not expect that I'm gonna have some super awesome painting based off of what this artist told me to do or they tried this technique and now all of a sudden that automatically means I'm gonna be awesome right so experiment slowly okay this guy tries it with this way okay I'll try that I was watching a video a few weeks ago where <clears throat> excuse me the this guy was saying um, okay when you paint use as many layers as possible now for me I don't like using a lot of layers that's just my own personal preference and it's mainly due to the fact that when I first started using Photoshop with Photoshop 7 a long time ago then I stopped using Photoshop for years after that but I had this really 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 slow computer and so I couldn't work with a lot of layers so I got used to doing things on two and three layers and then flattening those layers or excuse me merging those layers so that's something that I got used to so what I don't like to say in my videos is like always do this don't ever do that and when I heard this guy saying paint on as many layers as possible I was like you know that's really giving the wrong impression because maybe someone doesn't like painting on tons of layers. I personally don't like it. I like doing everything on one layer and adding a couple here and there. And I'm going to do another video pretty soon where I go over the um, that Lee Sin artwork that I did. I'm going to go over step by step of what I did and I'll talk about uh, some of the things that I, knew, I do now. But when you're experimenting, take it slow. And don't take it necessarily as like word of law. Like this guy says I always need to do this. The only thing you always need to follow are the fundamentals of design. If your design is flawed, your render is going to be flawed in color. It doesn't matter. The fundamentals of design are the most important things. And when I was going through this process of going through all these tutorials, trying to do what these other artists are doing, I was just so confused. I was lost. I was just doing all this type of stuff. And... I'll tell you a quick story about when I had um, sort of that moment where the light bulb goes off. Um, I was watching a video of Joe Bloom. He was doing a caricature painting of Tom Cruise. And while he was painting, and he's just kind of talking and just telling stories and stuff like that, he was doing it in real time. And he had this really nice sketch, and he was just painting over the whole thing. And he was about three quarters of the way through. And he kind of like zoomed out a little bit, and he took a look at it, and he says, you know what? I don't like the way I did his nose so I'm gonna paint a new one and that's when I had my light bulb moment and I listened to that now that may sound like well duh or whatever but for me it was it was a moment with him saying 
I don't like his nose. I'm going to paint a new one. For me, that kind of opened my eyes and reminded me that, you know what, it's not Photoshop that's going to make a cool image for me. It's not Photoshop that's going to color this for me or, or design it for me. It's me. It's as the artist, I'm going to make a decision to make a change. And what he did was, you know, he didn't make a new layer. He didn't use a warp tool. He didn't use some filter. He used some trick. He was using one brush and he simply painted on top of his painting on one layer a new nose. And it's just one of those weird things where it opened my eyes to, for me to remember that, hey, you know, I'm the artist. I'm the one that's in charge. It's not Photoshop. And instead of expecting, expecting or wanting Photoshop to create a cool image for me, it's me who needs to make a cool image just using Photoshop. It's just a tool. And that's where my eyes were open. And, you know, saying that it was a, one of those light bulb went off moments, that doesn't even do it justice. I mean, like, the heavens opened up, the sun was shining down through the sky, the angels were singing, the rabbits and the squirrels outside were dancing. It was just like, oh my gosh, that's it. And so I immediately from that point, I stopped watching any videos. I started just painting in Photoshop. I would use one layer and I would just say to myself over and over, paint a new nose. And it's just an expression that I still use myself this day, to this day where if I'm running into a problem or if I notice that I've drawn something wrong or done something like that, even if it's like a wing of a dragon or whatever, I'll say to myself, just paint a new nose. Just do it yourself. Just make the decision. Take control of Photoshop and don't let Photoshop control you. And so that was just one of my like magic moments or whatever. So I thought I'd share that with you. Okay, the last thing I quickly want to talk about is applying these different steps and techniques to the different subject matters of Photoshop or whatever type of digital program that you use, whether it be ArtRage, uh, Sketchbook Pro, Corel Paint, or whatever. And that is what I mean by subject matters is uh, first off like drawing in Photoshop. That, that definitely takes getting used to when you're transitioning into the digital world. You know, drawing your sketchbook just has a certain feel. And when you get into digital and you're, and you're applying that pen to the tablet, it feels a lot different. So start with drawing something that you're comfortable with. Keep it simple. Draw something small. It could just be basic things, basic shapes or objects, or it could just be, you know what, I'm just going to paint a weapon, or excuse me, I'm just going to draw a weapon and just try this. Instead of taking on something too big or trying to draw exactly like you drew in your sketchbook of your awesome character or vehicle or whatever, is that if you take just steps, and start with something small that'll help you progress and just get used to the way Photoshop reacts to uh, your hand moving across the tablet. Um, another subject matter is um, painting from in grayscale and then going to color. That's a huge, huge subject that I know for me that I studied and tried and failed and did all kinds of things. Again, start with something small, keep it simple. I mean, it could be something as simple as you know, drawing a, a sphere and a, a cube, a pyramid, just draw basic shapes, cut, uh, paint those in grayscale, and then try different techniques of applying color to them. And so that way you're not as emotionally invested in what you're painting as you would be like your favorite character or favorite vehicle or environment. And then because what could happen, I know for me, I tried, you know, I had done this cool character, did all this grayscale rendering and then try to apply color to it and it wasn't working out for me right away and then there's a little bit of a letdown you know you've I've, I've spent so much time with this character I, I love it and now this color added this process of adding color to grayscale just isn't working and I end up getting frustrated so start with something basic and then that way you know if you don't like it or you feel more a little bit comfortable with experimenting because it's like it's just a basic shape I'm just sitting here you know trying to render this cube or still life or something like that. So it's not a big deal. Um, another subject matter is trying different adjustment layers. And again, apply it to these basic shapes that you just rendered going from grayscale to color. Now trying different blending modes with adjustment layers. Those are the different subject matters that you can apply these same techniques to as you progress and as you move on. So, you know, hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you guys you know, we'll try these types of steps in developing your own process so your comfort level grows and your confidence grows. And as you move along, you're going to realize that, hey, you know what? Photoshop is just a tool. It's not 
Photoshop isn't going to make you a better artist. It's going to be your determination, your ambition that's going to make you a better artist. And if you have those things, you're going to be. So it's the intimidation factor, the overwhelming factors of jumping right into Photoshop with all the different techniques and tools that are available to you. Once you get past that and realize that, hey, this is just a simple tool, this is just another way to create art, you're going to do great things. You're, as long, like I said, as long as you have that ambition and that drive to do it, you guys are hopefully going to be a hundred times better than me. And th that's my goal is to, if I can help you guys with in any kind of way at all, and you guys end up a hundred times better than me, then for me, that's the ultimate feeling. So I hope this video helps. Uh, I'm going to try to make another video soon going over that lease and artwork step by step. And I'll just talk about the things that I did and, um, Hopefully look forward to that. I'll try to do that here within the next week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time.